Okay guys, so before this video starts, I just want to say that I did indeed get a Discord server and it's going to be very useful and I really hope that all you guys do enjoy. So I'll pretty much be listing what there would be on. So there's going to be tech support and obviously with my boy Carmen, he's been helping me so much. But uh, we're going to be doing tech support, we're going to be doing, I do indeed have a spare NordVPN code or like account so I could just give it to anybody but yeah so I'll be doing that I will just DM you the code the like the email and the username uh the password and yeah it's really simple and thank you guys so much I'll also be doing another Minecraft giveaway and if you guys if we do hit a hundred likes on this video or 150 I don't know if we hit a certain amount of likes I'll probably do a giveaway and if we hit enough discord users I'll also be giving one person NordVPN and also be giving another person a Minecraft account so yeah <coughs> sorry it'll be really sick so yeah I'll just repeat it again we'll do tech support on it and especially for GeForce now since a lot of people this is a beta version and I'll, I'll be saying that later on in the video but this is a beta version so you guys will see if you guys do need help with GeForce now we'll try our best to assist you and uh, we'll also do giveaways so I really hope that you guys do join and yeah Yo, what is up guys? My name is Ram here and today guys I'm be doing a brand new video and I know I've already made two GeForce videos in the past but there was specifically one person that said that he was having problems with looking for next available rig and I kind of had that problem too and yeah I just like I randomly found a fix I don't know like it's really simple and it's kind of logical like for anybody to think about it but I mean like everybody would probably just reinstall the app but you kind of have to do an additional step which is really really easy but yeah also guys thank you guys so much for the support I'm at 205 subscribers right now and yeah it's really sick thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and yeah I'll be posting more and more because I have more time now I'm gonna be de dedicating most of my life to um, YouTube for now and yeah I'm just gonna be making like weekly videos that's my um, interpretation because like I I'm just trying to make good content and help you guys out and I know a lot of people get like another error called a problem occurred starting your game try again I've also found a fix to that but it's on Windows so that's the only problem most people said it was on Mac but yeah anyways let's get into it okay guys so the first thing that you guys are gonna do is well I can't show you guys how to do it but I mean it's really simple cuz I've already done it so you guys search up app with so you guys hit like the windows key and, uh, R at the same time simultaneously and then you guys search up appwiz.cpl right uh, dot you, you have to put the dot and hit okay okay then so you guys are gonna scroll down click on the GeForce Now app and uninstall it Okay, so I, I don't need to uninstall my game already works perfectly, but I'll be showing you guys an image right now and you guys could see that I did indeed have this error and I did now find a fix. It happened with one of my games which was Fortnite and yeah, you guys are going to hit uninstall, change and it'll be uninstalling the app. Wait till it says uninstalled and then you guys go to this link and you guys do like I'll put this link in the description and you guys like whatever you guys are on Mac or PC so if I'm on PC I'd click here and then I would um uh, open the f so once it's done I just open the file and then yeah you guys run it again and it's and then it works properly so guys I'm just saying like the reason it doesn't work if you like if you guys want an explanation if it doesn't work when you just reinstall it because when you delete the entire app all of its components also go with it when you just reinstall the the components still stay so all you need to do is just get the app back even if you delete like one file uh... it is still wouldn't work but then if you um... normally when there's like a problem like this i would go to the files and like delete the ceph cache file but yeah it pretty much just deletes the entire folder and it's like deletes every single component so when you download the app and you run it you're gonna have to log in it'll tell you some updates and it's a fresh new app and I'll show you guys that now my game does indeed work I'll run Fortnite 
And this all so like for me I had the problem uh, a problem occurred starting game try again and I also had this um glitch where like I always kept saying that yeah see it says always uh, looking for next available rig so yeah I've always had this but this kind of subsides the looking for next available rig so yeah for this game it's cuz Fortnite's like you guys also need to uh, make sure you guys have all your updates late uh, to latest because Fortnite needs that to um run and for for now it's like I still get the looking for next available rig but it's not as consistent as it used to be like um before I always like always got it 5 7 minutes before and if if it's still like for 10 minutes try reinstalling the app again so you know how I'll I'll just show you guys right now since I'm I'm getting the glitch so I'm just going to exit out of the app uninstall and it says do we want to remove GeForce now I'm going to hit uninstall and yeah, it's just on. Okay, now it's a GeForce now it's been successfully removed, and I'm just gonna go into the files right now and um, show you guys that no matter what, even if the, even if the files are there, it's still coming. It's gonna be a brand new application. So you guys are gonna go to um, Windows. You guys are gonna go to um, Users. Your name. Your app data, local and you guys will see that there's NVIDIA Corporation and yeah so it deletes all those files as you guys could see normally you would say GeForce Now GeForce Now streamer and you'd see everything but now it doesn't show that alright so now you guys are just gonna go back and go to this link and hit here I'll be right back when I run the file okay so I'm running the file right now and yeah just gonna wait you just have to wait a while and then it'll be a brand new refreshed app and I actually didn't figure out this way I don't know I was really dumb but like I just delete from the Ceph cache file if you're getting a black screen every time you open the app then you then there's a fix you guys just need to go and look now all these apps are just like fresh newly installed but then you'd go to GeForce now and you guys would delete the Ceph cache file so yeah it's running see look now it's like um, it's logging, it says, it, it's like a re brand new refreshed app. Guys, I'm going to continue, and you guys just log in. I'll be, I'll be logging in later. Well, I mean, I'll log in now, but I'll just be, I'll be back when I am done. Okay, so it is running right now, and, um, it's just connecting into my account. And yeah, it's really simple. Uh, like it, honestly, it's only gonna take me about two minutes. But since I had to explain first, and then I got the rig again, yeah. So um, I've actually talked to uh, GeForce Now specialist, and they said they're well known. They're well known about this error. And wow. Oh, it's because I'm recording. But just continue anyways. And yeah. So. Obviously, like the rig now will take much less time, and they they definitely know about this error. And f like back, like for now, like I don't know what to do about it, but I'll be notifying you guys about that. So that one person that said the the game doesn't load whatsoever, try this method and then try waiting five to ten minutes. That it does work, but it just takes a long time. So yeah, that's the only issue that I'm really having with GeForce. Obviously, this is a beta version and they're trying to figure out these um, things. So like the part, the most thing that you guys could do is you guys could just go to send feedback. And you guys would rate it and you guys should just describe and say that the games are stuck on looking for next available rig and I'll be notifying you guys available well, available rig you guys should just say looking for next available rig so it's like really yeah so just take some time but for me before I was just stuck on a constant loop and I tried this morning, well, it's still morning, but I tried early in the morning, and it did work without asking me for a rig, 
and now it's just takes some time even my friend ha also ha and look guys it just loaded so yeah I'm telling you guys this method does indeed work I'm telling you and I'm just waiting right now it does take a long time and yeah I can't really do anything about it they said that they would actually improve their um they said that they would improve it but I don't see a r improvement yet but you guys could just suck the next available I can't spell available rig and you guys could send it to them and yeah and as you guys could see my game is indeed working and I know that it was still stuck on next looking for next available rig but this is for the one person that asked um, it doesn't work for them that well and yeah that's the problem with that and this is the problem fixed so yeah it's really simple and I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you guys don't understand then I mean like replay the video it's really simple I'm telling you this only works on Windows computers so if you if you are getting the glitch if you are getting the glitch on um uh, Mac uh, I do not know anything because I do not have a Mac but as you guys could see that this Fortnite is working proper and I know that I said it's looking for next available rig but I mean they know about this error so they're trying to fix it and it's in beta so yeah this is really simple uh, like you still might get the rig thing but it's probably not as often or it takes much less time because before it took like 10 minutes and I still couldn't load up the game and that was for one of the games. And for um, if you guys are getting the a problem occurred starting your game, please try. Uh, I mean, try again. This definitely resolves this error because I'll be like I'll be showing another picture. And I, like I said in the start, there's gonna be a picture. And yeah, it's like you'll just see a picture of me getting the error. And it wasn't working whatsoever, but now it does work. And as you guys could see, Fortnite is running normally. You'd launch Fortnite. And yeah, it's that simple. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe. I'm on my road to 300 subs. I know we can do it. And uh, make sure, like, be, like, expect more GeForce Now videos. Because it's in a beta version. There's so many glitches and stuff. But, make like, expect to get many GeForce Now videos. Which, I mean, is good. But, like, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Also, guys, I just want to say, after you um, do install the GeForce Now app, and like after like doing everything like that and um it's still stuck on looking for next available rig then you just power off your computer and a lot of people i've been checking on the nvidia forum forums and stuff like that and they said that if you power off your computer then it will start to work so if that doesn't work if it if it's taking an unusually long time again then just restart your computer and you just be a little patient and it'll work perfectly okay yo i, I just wanted to tell you guys like I'm just trying to remind you guys that um, this issue is not fully resolved right now and um, it still looks for the next available rig and GeForce, I mean NVIDIA are quite aware of this situation and I've actually contact contacted them and they said that they're trying to find it as soon as possible so yeah just be expecting a video soon maybe like maybe one to two weeks but not like this week I might not be able to upload next week too because my week is really busy but like yeah so I'm gonna be um, just be expecting a video then so yeah it's just gonna be looking for the next available rig and if if it's stuck there then just delete the game and try again like from the method that I did but also guys I just want to remind you guys that I do have a discord server and I'll be leaving that in the link in the description it's going to be like a way like tech support and stuff like that but the main reason I'm doing it is so then I could give back to you guys like Nord I have a spare Nord VPN code or like username and I can't really do that on YouTube so if you guys do want to win stuff then please join my discord and as I said in the start that if we hit a certain amount of likes on this video then I will definitely do it so yeah 
if you're playing Fortnite one time, then you could definitely play. I did play for like two hours, but like, yeah, um, that's all I really have to say. Just join my Discord. That's probably the uh, thing that you can do that will get you NordVPN. So yeah, I'm gonna be ending the video. So let's cue the outro. Trophy.